The null space of matrix A is the span of a single vector with components i, j, and one. We're asked to find the values of i and j. The null space of A is a set of all vectors x in Rn such that A times vector x equals zero. To find the spanning set of the null space of A, we solve the equation A times vector x equals zero. The vectors in the spanning set of the solution form a basis for the null space. So we need to set up the equation A times vector x equals the zero vector, which gives us the vector equation where we have matrix A times vector x with components x sub one, x sub two, x sub three equals the zero vector. Next, let's write the corresponding augmented matrix where the first row is one, negative two, negative three, zero. The second row is negative one, one, two, zero. The third row is negative three, five, eight, zero. Next, we write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done to save time. The first row is one, zero, negative one, zero. The second row is zero, one, one, zero. The third row is a row of zeros. Let's go ahead and label the first three columns x sub one through x sub three. Notice how we have pivots in row one, column one, and row two, column two which indicates that x sub one and x sub two are the basic variables. There's no pivot in column three, x sub three is a free variable. And now let's write the corresponding equations. Row one indicates that x sub one minus x sub three equals zero. Solving for x sub one, we have x sub one equals x sub three. The second row indicates that x sub two plus x sub three equals zero. Solving for x sub two, we have x sub two equals negative x sub three. x sub three is a free variable, x sub three equals x sub three. Let's go ahead and parameterize the solution by letting x sub three equal t. The solutions to the equation a times vector x equals a zero vector are all the vectors x with components x sub one, x sub two, x sub three where x sub one is equal to t, since x sub three is equal to t, x sub two is equal to negative t, and x sub three is equal to t. If we factor out the t, we have t times the vector one, negative one, one. So the vector one, negative one, one forms a basis for the null space of A, which means it spans the null space of A and comparing this vector to the vector we're looking for, where the components are i, j, one, notice how the third component is one in both vectors, and therefore we know i is equal to one, and j is equal to negative one. I hope you found this helpful.